Welcome to Joy of Business Radio, hosted by Joy of Business facilitators from around the world, with special shows from Simone Millicis, the founder and creator of Joy of Business. Are you bored or dissatisfied with your work or business? Joy of Business is an invitation to a completely new way of creating. Did you know your business and job can actually be fun and joyful? If what you are currently doing isn't working for you, listen in to this show full of pragmatic tools from Access Consciousness, which change everything in business, from money to finance, staff, creativity, productivity, communication, and beyond. Joy of Business Radio, weekly on Om Times Radio. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Om Times Radio Show with the Joy of Business Facilitators. And today it's really exciting for myself because I have a colleague on the line and uh, for the conversation here with me that I have never met in person. So <laughs> I'm really excited uh, to introduce herself and get to know her here with you. Um, and her name is Venus Kasselberg. Hello, Venus. Welcome to Hello. our show today. <laughs> Thank you. So and excited to be here. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it exciting to get to know each other mm-hmm. on a radio show and <laughs> see yes, who totally. is the <laughs> colleague that is also working with the Chair of Business Tools and bringing these tools and these possibilities out into the world. So my name is Doris Schattenhofer. I'm from Vienna, Austria. Where are you from, Venus? I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, cool. Cool. So... Uh, today, we would like to talk about business is a source of fun, and I've asked Venus to send me her bio so that I can read a little bit in and see who is this uh, woman I get to talk to today, and it's really amazing what experience you have and what you have done already. You are a business and life coach, holistic health care practitioner, self-proclaimed nature fairy, and a lifelong devotee of joyful possibilities. So we have the joyful already in there for joy of business. And uh, after you have discovered joy of business, um, you have experienced profound changes in your business and in your life. So when did you find uh, joy of business? When did it come into your life, Venus? Well, when I discovered Access Consciousness, seven years ago. Uh, I'm pretty sure Joy of Business, the book, was the first book I got. (laughs) Um, And (laughs) because I was just seeing that, yeah, things were not working out the way that I wanted them to. So, and I picked up that book and I read it and listened to it um, a ton just, and I really resonated with Simone, her, and I have a lot of kind of some of similar things that have happened to us in our lives. And so just hearing her story and how she changed everything, you know, and she was a hundred and was it 160 or $180,000 in debt. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then she reversed that and I was $60,000 in debt twice <laughs> in my life. So um, it was just, it was so profound for me and that, the business could be fun and easy and <laughs> um, was kind of, well, I wasn't raised that way. I don't know that any of us were, you know, our parents, mm-hmm. my dad especially was like, you, you work hard and you make money. And <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound like any fun. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so how about so- you, Doris? Yeah, I've I have met Access Consciousness and the tools. Uh, I think it's five years ago now, and of mm-hmm. course, uh, one of the first books as well that came into my life was Joy of Business. Um, I've worked with the team a lot uh, in the background of of Access Consciousness, and two years ago, uh, before the Joy of Business training um, started. I, I was so pulled. I, there was something in my in my world was like, Doris, this is like yours. So um, I took the training, and from that on, like everything changed even more. Like I had a lot of changes before that, 
but with choosing to be a child business facilitator, uh, bringing this tools out into the world, having these conversations, these different conversations with business and creation, changed my whole business, my whole life, all the life, uh, all the clients, you know, like I have clients that even take other classes or workshops with me. And when we come to the topic of business, they are all so stunned. They are in awe of like, I've never heard this. I've never heard this. And I'm like, I know. It's so different. It has such a beauty to it and ease and a different perspective how like how to create a business, and it's even not a how, right? It's like uh, this different way of building uh, a business and maybe an empire. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> um, <cool. I> like that. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so what would you say, Venus? Uh, like you, you mentioned that you had um, – a hard time in your life and then with these tools and choosing to become a church business facilitator, something really big shifted in uh, a big shift was going on in your world and in your life. So would you give us a little bit of an more input that people can really hear outside? So what was your story or what was the main thing you say, Oh, this was really hard back then. And now you changed it with the tools to something. It seems like you have a lot of fun right now. Yeah, totally. Well, I'd probably say the biggest shift for me was getting out of the working dollar for hour, um, that that was the only way that I could make money. And that, I mean, I was a massage therapist. I've been a massage therapist for 20 years as well. And one of the things that I could always see was, like, I can only massage so many bodies with these two hands. So dollar for hour was only going to go so far. <laughs> So, mm-hmm. so I was like, there's got to be a different possibility with money. There's got to be a different way to make money. And what I've really found with the Access Tools and Joy Business mm-hmm. has been, what, do you, what can you be different? The energy of joy and how that attracts money to you in ways that you never imagined possible. You still might make dollar for hour some places, but that's not the only place money can come from. Mm-hmm. So... And and how how much I've been surprised at the magic and the miracles and and how many different places money has just come as if by magic, um, and more so when I'm being joyful and I'm having fun, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, and not so much when it's hard and work and. <laughs> wow, so you know some people when I started to look at this. Um, this information and this place of fun, you know, because one thing that we say is that money follows, money follows joy. So on one point in, in my last years was like, okay, so money follows joy, joy, okay, do I really know what's joyful for me? And then I realized I don't. I might think this is joyful for me. I might think uh, this is my way of, you know, having a joyful life. But then I looked at how much I, I, you know, watched other people and thought, oh, this is joy. Oh, this is joyful. Oh, maybe I should do this to have a joyful life because this is, seems joyful for other people. And I looked at, is it really joyful for me? No. So, um, so then I, I really asked the question of like, what's joyful for me? And to see throughout the days, what is really joyful for me? And I thought, you know, it needs to be something spectacular. I need to add something into my life to have a joyful life. But I got it's also the simple things in my daily life when I really appreciate them and have a gratitude for what is already here. This makes me joyful as well. I just look at my flowers. I have always flowers around me at my home. This is one of the things that's really important for me, and I love it. Every week I, I buy a new bouquet of flowers and have it around, and um, this makes me smile every day. And at the moment, I have tulips, so they opened up yesterday, and the first thing this mo- overnight and <laughs> this morning was like, oh, my God, no. And this is joyful for me. So what's something that you have instituted in your life or where you, What's joyful for you or what did you see that, that makes you joyful and that you use throughout your days in your life to 
stay happy, stay joyful. Yeah, I think it's a muscle for everyone, and everybody has to find the things that do make you know bring them joy. But for me, uh, there's a couple of key things. One of them is being outside in the woods, um, hiking on trails. That's my my soul is really fed in with the earth and in nature. I also love to paint. I don't necessarily sell my paintings, <laughs> but I love <laughs> the act of painting. <laughs> so. Um, my house is very colorful and bright because I paint all these really cool paintings and have them all over my house. But the mm-hmm. painting is so much joy. There's so much lightness and ease um, when I'm doing that. Wow. You never know. Maybe people yes. get interested in your paintings. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Well, and, and I then think you have a new. It could be, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so for a for a new revenue stream, you know, this is also one thing that we. Uh, I think that that when I'm a social worker uh, in a, my mm-hmm. previous life, in a way, <laughs> so I I still work with people and love the the part of working with people and changing things and and showing people that there are possibilities. Um, but back then, when I worked like 40 hours uh, a week, I could not see anything else, how to create something different. You know, this is what I learned. This is what I went to school for. This is what where I had my degree uh, in. And so this is what I can do. And then I, I work, I get my money, and there's nothing else possible. If I'm happy or unhappy, it doesn't matter. This is how it is. So this is my life before. Um and looking back at that, it's so amazing what changed in the last year is because I don't have this one one way and money can only come from one income stream. Now it's every day, okay, how many new income stream can I add? And this makes me joyful as well. You know, the surprise and the curiosity of what else is possible here? What else can I add? What else can come into my life? What other ideas can I have? And also creating my I really, I thank you for this conversation. There's a big acknowledgement coming up. We think we need to have a degree in something or have to learn something to make a business out of it. When I look at my business right now, my business comes really from my choices, what I added to my life, and I have not started what I'm started in a way what I'm doing now. And it's working out brilliantly. So, Everywhere, and you know, listeners, we are using, one of the tools we're using is our clearing statement. You have heard this. If you have heard more episodes of our show, you have heard this as well. Um, you can go to theclearingstatement.com, and it's called Right and Wrong, Good and Bad, Sudden Talk, Wrong, and Shit, Boys and Beyond. So what we do is we clear uh, limitations. Ah, and see, we have the first break coming up. That's great. Because now uh, you can look up the clearingstatement.com and afterwards we come back and I tell you something more about it. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. See you next time. No one needs to have a money problem, especially you. Yeah, did you hear that? You. You have an unlimited and mostly unaccessed capacity to create money and a financial reality that works for you. Simone Millicis has a brand new book. It's called Getting Out of Debt Joyfully. And right now, when you go to gettingoutofdebtjoyfully.com, if you pre-order the book, you'll get a free online course. What if you can create money in ways no one else can? Just go to gettingoutofdebtjoyfully.com to get your copy today. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Aloha, my name is Jennifer O'Neill, and I'd like to invite you to come join me every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time for my show, Spirit Chat. Spirit Chat focuses on simplifying the process of using the spiritual tools and gifts you were born with in a way that fits into your everyday life. 
I also teach different techniques that will help you learn how to navigate the spirit realm and empower you on your own spiritual journey. So join me this Wednesday as I guide you through the spirit world. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. The cutting edge of conscious radio. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And we are back today uh, at this episode of Om Times Radio with two of business facilitators. I'm here with Rina Kasselberg, and my name is Doris Schachenhofer. And we just talked about the tool that we are using. Uh, it's a clearing statement. Right and wrong, good and bad, put and pop, well, nine shots, boys and beyond, that we use to clear all the crap and limitations that are stuck in our world and all the things that we think that are true for us but aren't. And so we open up to the possibilities and what's really true for us. So um, now I'm thinking, why did I start this tour? So what? <laughs> where, where have you been in the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> and this happens as well. I'm so happy that I learned to not make myself wrong uh, because you can never be wrong. Uh, we have so much fear with business that we fail, but you can never fail. There's always another choice. There's always another possibility. And, uh, yeah, sometimes we lose what we have said before, and then we just go on. <laughs> and I will use it uh, afterwards to show you. <laughs> So you are with me. It's amazing <laughs> clearing statement. Um, what? Um, well, you could even use the clearing statement for any judgments you might have on yourself. That's true. So every yeah. everything that came up for you with uh, with what happened just to me that I lost where I was before the break. Will you please destroy and ungrade it all? Ryan Wong and Beth, Todd and Puck, all nine shots, boys and beyond. And all all the judgments that we have about business, how it should be, how it shouldn't be, how it should be successful, how it, whatever you are asking for, will you please destroy and ungrade it all? Right yes. on, good and bad, hot and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyond. So when you look at business and how you have grown up with, you know, business or how is it for you, Venus? So what's business for you and how has it maybe changed and what do you love about business right now? Well, I really do love that I'm, that I, that was the other part of like, you know, money follows joy. I'm only choosing things that I love to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I also used to be one of those people. I think there's a lot of people out there that you do what you think you have to, to make money. Whereas I don't. <laughs> I I mm-hmm. do things that are fun for me and that I enjoy doing. And, you know, I work for Access Consciousness too, and you know, I'm a joy facilitator. I'm an Access Consciousness facilitator, changing people's lives, having people have a greater quality of life has always been a commitment of mine and a desire of mine. And um, you, you know, started 20 years ago with different modalities, but the tools of Access Consciousness have been so easeful (laughs) and just have not had that like hard you know we gotta work through this it doesn't mean it's always easy but yeah Mm -hmm. there is just an ease to it so um and i love doris i've i've watched you from afar i don't like we you introduced us and we've never met before but uh, every time I see you in business and action, I see you having fun and enjoying what you're doing. And I love that about you. Like, you just exude this, like, life is just fun. Has it always been that way for you? I would say yes. Like, when you ask me like this, yes. And still, of course, there were people that said, no, it's not fun. No, you know, it's different. 
or uh, I really remember one of the things that a uh, family member told me when I became, you know, 18 and did my degree to go to study, to go to another city, have my own apartment and take care about myself in a way. It was like, you know, uh, years before people would tell me, you know, you need to like appreciate what you have now because it will change. And, you know, when you become an adult and have to take care about yourself or maybe your own family, it will be hard. You know, it's like the first 18 years might be the joyful years, but then it turns into the hardship and all the problems. So, and I always thought when I was a teenager, I think that's not true, but what if, you know, and and you you start to think of like, but what if they are right? But. I don't want that, and I don't think it's it's necessary. But maybe they have, you know, there's a true uh, a truth to it. So, but if I look back, um, I would always create my life how I'd like to have it. And for example, I was always sure we'll have a job, and people always told me, "You're so so secure of like," and I changed jobs a lot. You know, if I had a job for one year and I was fed up like okay been there done that (laughs) you know I know what's going on here I would look for another job just for the fun of it I was like okay I'm done here bye and um and people always told me like you cannot do that and you need to stick to something and I'm like no I'm so done I'm like I just want to go on and and learn something more and um, there's so many different people out there to meet so many different different areas in the world I'm like, I, I want to have it all. <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's true. For me, life has, I had always had a joy to it. And still, on one point, some years back, I got serious. That, that was a point where, where being serious was one of the main <laughs> things that went on in my life. <laughs> and that was not a fun time. And there I really, I suffered. And I, I really was like, this is all what's going on. And this is all what it should be. And then the exosos came into my life. And everything I was asking for and I knew, like, you know, then it exploded. And I was like, yes, this is what I have always known. And I'm so grateful for all of it, you know. I also know that it was like whatever is right, but it was the right timing for me to let it in, for me to really have it, for me to use it. And because often we say, oh, it would have been great to have it when we were 15 or 20 or, you know, yes, but maybe it was there, but you could not see it or you could not receive it or you could not take it. So it's really, really also acknowledging it came at the time where you were able and willing and capable of really letting it into your world to use it. And still people come across access tools and trust business tools and tell us, oh, you know, whatever their point of view is, but that they don't like it. Or And what I have seen is we have not learned to have ease in our lives, that really things can flow, that money can come in, that we can just create um, – for some people, it, it looks like we create chaos, in a chaos. But what we do is like we create from questions where we do not hold on to something. We we change in a second if it's if it's required. And um, this is the fun, right? So yeah. And I and and if you ask me the question, this is what I'm doing as well. It's like my whole world is like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> no. Yeah, I actually, um, in the last, I've had some pretty big things going on, and I think I've been working like 16 hours a day, six days a week, and I don't even notice. Like, I'm just like, mm-hmm. this is so much fun. I'm having such a blast. So it's like I've also seen, and this has been so cool, is like the more that I choose for fun and joy, the, the less time and energy constructs I have you know, that I used to believe in, like, oh, I can only work eight hours a day, that's the max, because, you know, and I'm like, yeah, if you're not having any fun, why would you want to work one hour not having fun? (laughs) So, (laughs) So 
So if, if and, somebody came to you and was like asking you, like, you know, I, I'm just so stuck in this, you know, nine to five job and I'm not having any fun, what would what would be an invitation you might make to them? Oh wow, I love this question. I I first I would give them an, a question of like that they start asking what is truly possible for me that I don't think is possible. And for some people, it's, and you can, with that, you can use the clearing statement, but you don't need to. You can just um, start asking questions where you open up, like, what is truly possible? Or you can add what is truly possible that I don't think is possible. And everything that doesn't allow it to show up with ease, destroy and ungrade it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And, you know, one of the first things that we invite people with um, the past classes that we also offer or the Access Foundation class is, what do you truly desire and how would you like your life to be? So, and when I first heard this question, I was like, I think I was never asked what I desire and how I'd like my life to be. It's like, you know, there are some stations in life you just go through or you are expected to do or be, you know, as a as a, a woman, a lot of people expect us to want a family or desire a family, to desire kids, to desire all of this stuff. And there are some things where, where as if there would be stations, you know, now you're that old, now this is going on <laughs> and you're that old. Right? Yeah. And, what, and it's like, and I also saw myself after some years in access, I'm um, looking back, I'm like, i I honestly put this, that also on some people because it was normal. Like, you know, uh, like this is your age, so is this now going on? So this is where I would like invite people as well. Is start if you want to write a list, but start really to look at what would be fun for you, what do you desire, and how does your life look like the one that you like to wake up every one, uh, morning to? And when I started looking at that, so many beautiful things showed up and my, my, you know, my dreams showed up again and my dreams came back. My, my visions showed up again and were even bigger. And I'm like, okay, I don't need to tell anyone, but being honest with yourself. So if you're in a place in your life, like Lena said, if you're in a, a nine to five job and you're not happy, start um, writing a list what's fun for you and what do you desire see we come when it's fun the time flies and we come to our next break and we see you later thank you yep thank you have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm the secret key is finding a love partnership not just a regular connection how do you find these through conscious relationships Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Tune in to the practical, intuitive Mind, Body, Spirit for the Real World with me, host Robin Fritz, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 Eastern. I'll cover personal and business intuition, animal communication, mediumship, space clearing, past life regression, shamanic insights, energy healing, soul choice, and more, all to help you tap your own intuitive and healing skills. No ifs, ands, or buts. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Putting the sun back in business. Wake up, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to bed, repeat. Business, work, your job, hate it, bored, want to leave it? Or business, work, your job, fun, play, joy, fun. Which would you like to choose? You may not know this, but business, your job, work can actually be fun. 
Check out your business routine. Check out my three-part free video series on putting the fun back in business. Go to accessdrivebusiness.com forward slash fun and put the fun back in business. Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello, back. Here is Doris Tachnova, and today with Venus Kasselberg. And I just had to smile and laugh as we heard in the break. The founder of Tourist Business, her name is Simone Melissis. I adore her. I love her. A brilliant woman. And I get to spend this weekend uh, with her, with another topic. But she's here in my hometown in Vienna. And I'm so excited. And what she just said uh, in the break was putting the fun back in business. And this is what she truly has done for me, like putting the fun back in my life, I would say. <laughs> and of course, I'm in business and in creation. And what we also say is like business is our life and our life is our business because everything is creation and there is no separation from one part to another. Uh, and this is something where I get every time and I say this, clients are like, stop what and I think this is a big game changer for people that if you don't separate all your life areas then you what you have is a big creation every day from morning to the moment when you go to bed and everything is a creation and then you can create something different you can listen different to areas and it makes much more fun because you don't need to like be stressed of like, do I do business now or do I do private now or do I do family now? It all can go into each other. What it requires, I get, I would see, um, say is uh, building the muscle of asking questions, uh, listening to what's going on and what is required, um, and enjoying. I would say a lot of things is also from having a joyful business is learning to relax and not to stress out. Even if it's really intense, you said you have worked a lot these days. Some people would go into stress and are like, as you said, you know, oh, I should sleep more. I should more have more uh, private time. And then it becomes this stressful time instead of being totally in joy, being totally in creation, seeing your life as this creation. And then it's the relaxation into the moment, right? Right. Well, I, and I think it also has to do with, like, not judging it. Like, if you have a point of view that, you know, you should work a certain number of hours, you should do family numbers of a certain number of hours, then you're in judgment. And there, you really can't be an allowance for what's showing up in that moment, you know, <laughs> like, because yeah. it's, and like you said, I love that. It's like your life is your business, your business is your life. So it's all, it, it's care of all of it. And knowing that no matter what, you're, nothing is nothing is um, going without. Like there's not an absence, you know, in one yeah. area, you know. But, and I love that being in question too, like what needs to be handled now, you know, what what requires my attention now. That's a great a great way to like to that. just follow the energy. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess this is something new, following the energy. This is one of the parts mm-hmm. that um we invite people to and when we have our workshops, um or even the master class, it's um giving the people the sense of how much they know and how much they already know about business, but also about life and living. And then following the energy is where you allow yourself to to know and and to follow the lightness, to follow the joy, to follow your knowing. And how often have you uh, chosen something where you said before, oh, I have known that, but I've made a different choice. And it's not wrong, and it's totally okay. And... Uh, this is where you get to, to drain your um, muscle and to drain yourself in trusting yourself, believing in yourself and following what you know and what creates greater. And I'm not sure. Oh, you're here, Greg. 
yeah, cool. I was then unsure for sure. I was like, are you here? Are you gone? So, so Doris, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. So I'm wondering, maybe it might be just helpful for people. So if things aren't going your way or the way that you'd like them to, what's something that you do to change that energy? Oh, if they don't go the way I'd like them to, Oh, you know, often, like, what comes in first is what have I decided what's right and wrong here and what's, like, not okay here, you know, what, what's going wrong. And maybe there is something that I would see as wrong, but it's opening up to something greater, you know. It could be that possibility. So um, to, to really look at, do I have a point of view here and have I decided something or is there really something asking for change? So this would be a, a, a question where you can get a sense and, and, and really uh, tap into your knowing of what do you know here. And if there is really something that is off or not going the way I'd, I'd really, I would not say like it to be, but where I would get that my business would grade greater or go to in a place where where it's, going into something bigger, I would start asking questions of what, what else is possible here? What needs to be changed here? Uh, is it, do I, it depends on what it is. Maybe I need to move some of my team members, you know, uh, in different right. places. Is it that something needs to be changed there? Has someone like a task or something to do that, um, you know, they don't like to do or they take too much time so what, what I've learned as well is um, to lead a team and to lead other people like in an encouraging way of not saying, you know, you don't do this um, fast enough, but also asking them questions. Wow, there are so many things that show up for me. Um, <laughs> so many tools. <laughs> um, f- first place, I would really say don't judge it for what it is right now. Take a moment, breathe, and uh, look at what, what is required to change here. And is it something you can do, someone else? Um, and what energy can I be that would change everything? And this is what you mentioned almost at the beginning where you said, what came in for you with the access tools is what are we allowing ourselves to be or not to be and what would it, what would it change and what would it open up if we allow ourselves to be more of us or even the total greatness that we be. And this is something uh, where I get already that people are like, what? Because it's not cognitive. It's nothing you can... Um, you can get with your head. It's something that invites you to 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 just trust and to just um, let yourself in into the into the greatness that we all be. We all bring something different. <sighs> How is it for you? Like I'm like it's the it's really it's really opening up to being more of us mm-hmm. and not, not, not then having the stress of doing, oh, my God, I need to do something. I need to do something. What is it I need to do? It's like, what right. can you be that would change everything? Well, and yeah. I love one of our main, main tools in Access Consciousness is ask a question. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. you know, there's, and you, you listed a whole bunch of great ones there, you know, just like, okay, so what is this? What's right about it? You know, that I'm not getting, you know, cause everything's working out in our favor, even if we can't see how, and so you know, what we judge is wrong or bad or, you know, not right is actually, what if it was actually working out for us instead of against us and asking a question allows us to, to open that up more like okay so what am I aware of here what is the possibility under this this? I love Dane recent in the last few months he's like 
what's the beautiful thing underneath it? You know, yeah. so we go quick, so quickly to something's wrong rather than you know what's the beauty under here? What's the gift? Because there's something we just can't necessarily see it right away. So asking a question. Wow. So thank you for mentioning Dane. So one of our friends and uh, amazing, beautiful man is the co-creator of Access mm-hmm. Consciousness, Dr. Dane here. He has written this some books and um, he's co-author and author of some books. And um, I would say the main book that he wrote is uh, Being You Changing the World. I just want you to know, to listening here, um, and it's all about being you. He is one of the greatest invitations of inviting yourself to being and be, and oh, it's so beautiful. And thank you for bringing this up because we all are gifts. But as when we hear this, oftentimes like, yeah, yeah, I'm a gift. But then we don't let it in really. And this is also, if you want to create a flourishing business and a business that's joyful for you and where people feel invited and, you know, they're like, what is she having? Like where they are drawn to your business and what you're offering. Like a main part is where you know about your greatness, that you know that you are a gift and that you don't deny it. No matter if other people can see it, but where you start and to have it for yourself. And this might be a challenge. And I know a little bit about it. <laughs> but it's so beautiful when we really open up to ourselves and then allow ourselves to say, yes, I know I'm a gift. And it comes with this lightness and with this joy. And, you know, it's not like proving I'm a gift. It's not like I need to show everyone I'm a gift. I just know it for myself. And, mm. oh, yeah, and this is, and and Simone and Brenton also uh, they great so much together. And I would say, being you and business, it's it doesn't go without each other. It's like the creation of living and the being of of the beauty and, and possibilities. Wow. And what you also said, Venus, and thank you for that, is everything is working out in your favor. So if you have a, a life situation right now where you are like, no, that's not true because don't you see my life? You know, this is where it will not bring you anywhere. And it's hard to really acknowledge that and to see uh, it might be, it might require a different angle, but everything is really working out in your favor. Ooh, 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 the next uh, break is coming and then we have our last part. Uh, Thank you, and see you then. Thank you. What do you hate about business, and do you want to change it? If you don't want to change anything about your job or business, stop listening. You're all good. If you'd like to have money just for the fun of it and stop the negative self-talk, check out Joy Business. This is about knowing what you know about business and creating more than you can imagine. Access Joy Business 101 classes offered around the world. Go to accessjoybusiness.com forward slash 101. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, The advisors participating at advisors.omtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Om Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Hello, I'm Lisa Berry. Join me every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for Light on Living, a chance to see new. 
hear different, and feel more as I shine the spotlight on all the ways to lighten the load of life's challenges. Light on Living is your link to that new way you're looking for, that new understanding that will enhance your life, and that positive connection that will support your growth. So join me and you'll gain insight and start to see things in a new way that motivates you. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And once more back for today's episode with Venus Kasselberg. And my name is Doris Schackenhofer for this really amazing conversation. I'm really grateful for about having joy in business. Uh, and business is a source of fun. This is um, uh, what we wanted to have as a title for this uh, show. And, you know, sometimes you just get together and talk whatever is there. So, um for for business is the source of fun, Venus. Was this always like this for you, or when, when did it change? And what is it you would like to tell people about business as, uh, is the source of fun? Well, no, it definitely wasn't always that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I just the working hard and working dollar for um, dollar for hour was really a challenge for me and and then also I, I'll bring money into that too because you know Simone Millis talks about the 10% and that actually changed my finances so if my focus was for a long time on working hard making money to pay bills okay now I do business for fun and put money away for myself <laughs> Wow. I have money. Would you? It's a completely cool. different paradigm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's the ten percent? Um, the ten percent. Great, great question. That's actually one of my favorite tools, um, because it changed my financial reality. I worked to pay bills. So, and then when I learned about the ten percent, ten percent account is you take ten percent of every dollar you earn, and put it away in a have account for you. It's an honoring of you account. It's just for you, just for fun. It's not even, you're not, it's not about spending. It's not about saving. It's not about having an account for a rainy day. It is about learning to have money instead of get money, spend money, or get money, pay bills. It also is the first thing you do with your money. So you do the 10% to you first, and then you pay your bills with the rest. So what that does is it tells the universe, I'm a priority in my own life. I'm going to pay myself first and then all my bills next. If you make bills a priority, you'll get more bills. <laughs> so, wow. um, and this, this tool changed everything for me. I no longer worry about money. I don't stress about money. I don't stress about paying my bills. Um, I have money. And that wasn't the case for me six years ago. Six years ago, I lived paycheck to paycheck. I worked hard for money just to survive. And now I could say that I actually thrive and I love what I do at the same time. So, Wow. And, you know, when, you, when, when people are in a place of like, okay, cool, 10%, but I don't even know how to pay my bills, um, this is where it's really – it's required that you make a choice. It's required that you make a commitment. It's required that you to to really look at, okay, this is what our mind tells us. This is what maybe uh, people would tell us. You cannot do that. You don't even have enough money for. But it's like really to uh, not go with the linear way and um, allowing yourself to do something different. Because, you know, what you have done until now uh, has not, it seems not to have changed something, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And it was for me the same for a while, you know. I have tried my best, but on a long run, it didn't change. And then with these tools, that seems a little bit out of everything and, like, it doesn't really don't make sense. But I also say we don't make sense. We're not here to make sense. We are here to open up to greater possibilities and really allowing, uh, like, inviting you to something that is working. Um, and 
as long as, as you don't use the torch for at least, I would say, three months or six months, um, please be so kind and, like, you like use it for that long that you can then have a judgment or say, oh, that's silly or stupid. Okay, maybe it doesn't mm-hmm. work for you. But there is there is really uh, – all the people that I have met that have started the 10% account say the same. That has changed their life. Like, they have more money than ever. Um and they are so happy and grateful for it. So thank mm-hmm. you for explaining and mentioning it. And then money can yeah. come, can come in for fun and not for paying bills. And where you are always, always like worrying, like is enough money there and will enough money come in? And it's all about the money instead of like changing it around that money comes in and you just have fun grading it, having it, spending it as well for whatever you'd like to spend it. Not to 10%, but money at all. Um, and then, wow, and I, like, even seeing it, this is where oh, I so cool to not worry anymore. Like, a lot of people know how worrying is, but, like, having no worry, especially with money, creates so much freedom and ease and lightness. And um, what, would it, what would it take for you to create this for your life? in making a choice right now and maybe starting this 10%. And I would love to hear like stories. You have listened to this show to me and uh, Venus and you changed something out of it. This is what we would love uh, for you. Mm-hmm. If you took something, even a, one sentence and one word uh, to change something for you, because it's what you choose that creates your future. Um so, Venus, uh, we have a little bit of time where I would like to in, inform people and invite people to where can we find you? Uh, do you have any classes coming up? I have seen you have your own on-time radio show. Is it true? Or did I, I misunderstand do. Yes, something? Yes, I do. <laughs> ah, that's too cool. No, I do. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's too cool. So you can always check Venus out here on on-time uh, radio with her show, and it's called Outside the Possible. Um, I love it. I will do that. I have not known it, but I will uh, check this out. And where else can people find you and uh, what are you offering in the next time? Well, thank you, Doris. Um, I actually recently have been featured in Thrive Global Magazine, and um, that was a lot of fun and something new that came out of being a joy business facilitator. How does it get better than that? Uh, mm-hmm. I have... Uh, venuscastleberg.com. You can find me all over social media, of course. And uh, I do have a business done different. It's one of our special classes for Joy Business Facilitators, March 8th through March 10th coming up. So, um, yep. And my my show here on Om Times is Outside the Impossible, where everything really is possible. So I'd love to have you listen there. <laughs> How about you, Doris? How can people find you, and what classes do you have going on? What magic are you creating in the world? <laughs> a lot, and I love it, and I love to say it. Yeah, really a lot. So you can also find me with my name, Doris Schackenhofer, uh, on Facebook and Instagram, and I have a web page. Um, and I do have two master classes coming up in Austria. So they, uh, for now, they are in German. But I'm always open to add translation or other languages if you're interested in. So they will be from the 13th to the 15th of March. It will be in Vienna. And then I have one on the countryside, beautiful Austria, uh, at the beginning of April, 3rd to 5th of April. And this will be after our um, Chef Business Certified Facilitator Training in Rome. So if you're really interested to uh, – to, um, know more about Turf Business, I would recommend that you get the book Turf Business from Simone Melissis and check it out. Mm-hmm. It's available in English, of course, and then I think in 14 or more different languages all over the world. So this is amazing. And if you have a, a, a friend in another country, you can also tell them about it. Then when we have um, accessturfbusiness.com is our web page. So you, so you find also information about me and Venus there and also about all our our other colleagues. So we have a lot of people that are bringing these tools out into the world, and you can check them out as well. 
And what do we have as well? There is some stuff coming. 2020 will be really interesting, and we are really excited, and we have some amazing things that we are creating together as well. And, yes, we have the training. So if you are interested to also bring these tools out into the world, please, like, contact us and look at the homepage that you find the information how to become a trust business facilitator. It's not only for uh, entrepreneurs or people that have been, like, you know, have, have had a million-dollar uh, million business or something. It's, it's really about people that are interested to create something different and asking questions and bringing this tool out into the world as we do and we love it and um, wow so what is um, one tool let's give them a, a last tool what is a, a, a tool you really want people to have out there in the world when it comes to business and creation Venus well the number one I, I, I would say is to be out of judgment and one of the easiest ways to do that is to be interesting point of view interesting point of view i have this point of view so every thought feeling and emotion you have say an interesting point of view of it to yourself really changes you from judging what's happening to allowance for what's happening and then you will begin to see what's the gift in this so i love it and as i said <laughs> we don't always make sense but we have a lot of fun, and we have a lot of stuff in our worlds and in our businesses, so you might want to check it out. And even when you're really, really, really successful, maybe you want to ask for even more with total ease because it's fun. You know, sometimes we are like, oh, now we have this, uh, achieved a certain amount of success or money, but what else is possible? So thank you so much, Tina. It was a joy for me. And see you next time. Me too. Thank you, Doris. It was awesome. Bye.